Yeah, our Abigail James spoke with the owner of a local cattle company about what they're experiencing here locally. And she joins us now from Western Missouri. Abigail. KC Cattle Company ships their Wagyu beef all across the country. And since the announcement that local grocery stores are putting limits on protein, owner and founder Pat Montgomery says they're getting an even larger uptick. We're still receiving beef, but it's not enough right now. Um, so things are going really quick. Uh, we, we put new inventory up on the website on Tuesday and we sold out in about 30 to 45 minutes. Montgomery's local cattle business doesn't rely on big meat packers such as Cargill or JBS. Instead, their meat is processed locally in Trimble, Missouri by Paradise Locker Meats. And they've really done a great job of staying ahead of COVID-19, taking care of their employees, providing the proper PPE and making sure they're they're doing the right things as a company. But that's not the case across the country. There's a lot of processors that are taking a hit on the chin um, with employees coming down with COVID-19. And, and then, you know, like I was telling you, the environment which uh, you work in in a processor is kind of the perfect place to spread that type of um, virus. So Missouri Senator Josh Hawley says four companies process 85% of all beef in the U.S. Three of those four process 63% of the nation's pork processing. The truth is, is that two or three companies shouldn't control all of the meat packing in America. Two or three companies shouldn't be able to stifle competition. That's why we need to have an antitrust investigation. As far as how long the issue will go on, it's hard to say, but Montgomery is optimistic. If we don't panic and we buy the appropriate amount to, to feed ourselves and our families, then you know we'll be us as, as distributors and meat processors will be able to catch up here sooner than we would be if we keep panicking. So meantime, a number of meat packing plants remain closed around the country. Abigail James, KCTV5 News.